We're joined now by the Treasury Secretary, Jack Liu. Jack, welcome. Mr. Secretary, welcome here this morning. You've worked so closely with the Chinese leaders. How concerned are you about a violent crackdown, and what would that mean for relations with the U.S.? Well, good to be with you, George. Um, obviously, we're watching the situation closely. It's very important that the situation be resolved through peaceful discussion. Uh, Has that been communicated to the Chinese? I, th I think that there have been conversations that through our national security channels. Um, the president dropped by when the foreign minister was visiting uh, just last week at the White House. And uh, I think we all need to send the same message. It's important this be resolved through discussion and peaceful discussion. Let's talk about the economy. Solid jobs report on Friday. Unemployment below 6 percent for the first time uh, in, in since 2008. On track for the best job creation in almost 15 years. But as you know, Americans are just not feeling it. I want to show our latest ABC News poll. 69% of Americans think we're going, uh, the economy is not doing so well. Over half of the country disapproves of the job that President Obama is doing on the economy. Are you worried that at some point this lack of confidence becomes self-fulfilling? You know, George, uh, I think there's no question but that the economy is moving strongly in the right direction. The jobs numbers on Friday were not just the first proof of that, but we've seen six months now of you know, pretty sustained uh, evidence of that progress. You got to remember where this started. Uh, when the president took office, we were losing 800,000 jobs a month. Over the last six months, we've been growing 227,000 jobs a month. That's a huge swing. And it is affecting the lives of Americans, but there's also a lot of memory of where we were in 08 and 09. The president spoke this week to what we need to do to make sure that the that the recovery reaches the lives of middle class Americans. And let's remember, it's not just because it's the right thing to do and it's fair, it's how we grow our economy. Our economy grows from the middle. We need to do things like invest in infrastructure. We need to do things like invest more in education and training. And, you know, we need to raise the minimum wage. But President's you need the Congress for that. That's not happening right now. Is there anything the president can do on his own? Well, look, we've done quite a lot uh, since the president took office. You know, we, you know we, we, when, when I became Treasury Secretary just under two years ago, we were still at the end of the period when the world looked at the United States as having been the source of the financial crisis. Just two weeks ago, I met with my, my counterparts at the G20 meeting and what I hear now is how do you have the resilience to bounce back? The answer is we make policy. We, we've made tough decisions beginning uh, at, the, uh, at the start of the administration that have caused the growth, helped to drive the growth in the economy. We have more policy that we need to do and nobody should write off the next two years. Nobody should expect that uh, we're not going to get more done in the next two years. I want to talk about a scary cyber attack this week. J.P. Morgan revealing that 83 million households and businesses had their uh, personal data compromised. The New York Times reports that about nine other financial institutions also had similar breaches, and they point the finger at hackers from Russia, even suggesting there may be ties to the Russian government. Is that the case? Look, George, the J.P. Morgan uh, incident is under investigation, and I'm not going to comment specifically on that. But I will say this, George. Um, you know, we have made uh, enormous efforts uh, to bring attention to this and resources to this. The president has taken action through an executive order. I've spoken to it publicly as recently as the summer in New York, and I've met with CEOs in the financial sector quite regularly since becoming secretary. They're taking it seriously. I don't think there's a CEO in the financial sector that doesn't wake up in the morning with this on their mind. Now, the fact of the matter is that cyber attacks don't have to come from big, well-organized forces. You know, one smart person and one bad person can do an awful lot of damage. It's something that we have to pay attention to every day. We still need legislation to make it easier for the industry to cooperate. And one thing I will just caution is some of the things I've read confuse factors. Attacks are not the same as getting into a system. And I think that some of the reports are confusing the two. So no concern about Russian government? Look, I, 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 we have a lot of concerns about the sources of attacks because there are many different sources. Uh, but I'm not going to comment on the specifics uh, in JP. Final question. The NFL has been under a lot of scrutiny as well, including uh, the fact that they still are considered a nonprofit, the NFL, they, they, for tax purposes, even though they've taken about $10 billion in annual revenue. Is that justified? I mean, baseball isn't a nonprofit anymore. The NBA isn't. So I, uh, I will say that I've, I've, like everyone else, paid attention uh, to what's been going on in the NFL recently. I haven't paid attention to their tax status, uh, uh, so I, I can't comment specifically on it. The, the, you know, the, the, the question of how they're organized is a question of whether they meet the legal requirements, and uh, uh, that's something that I... I, I Some members of Congress are calling for it yeah. to be taken away. Yeah. So, look, the, 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 I think that what, what clearly is in order is to, to do some soul-searching about uh, some of the things going on. Mr. Secretary, thanks very much for your time this morning. Good to be with you, George.